On the 6th of May, 1949, EDSAC ran its first program. It was a very simple program. It printed out a table of squares, and we have an entry in the logbook that tells us it worked. But by November of 1949, the machine was reliable enough that they held a conference in Cambridge to tell people about EDSAC and what it could do. And the program it ran as its demonstration at that conference was to produce prime numbers. And to compute prime numbers, you have to have a machine that can take decisions. And that's one of the formal definitions of a computer in the modern sense. EDSAC was about 1,500 times faster than a student with a mechanical calculator. So you got your results faster and you could do much bigger calculations and that enabled new kinds of science. The Cambridge machine was deliberately built so that scientists, mathematicians at Cambridge could use it to carry out calculations to advance their research. It supported three scientific groups at Cambridge to win Nobel Prizes. And in their Nobel acceptance speeches, they all mentioned EDSAC as if it was one of their scientific collaborators. 